Hello and welcome to this tutorial on a how to create a space shooter, a 2D space shooter my ad in Unity. Um, I apologise for the quality of my mic, as some people have been complaining. Um, I don't intend to get another one at this moment in time, um, but I will do eventually. Okay, so let's get started with this. First off, we want to come in our project window and set up a few folders. So right click, create folder. I'm going to create a sprite folder. Also going to create a scripts folder. And I'm also going to create a prefab folder. Okay, so we'll start by doing the scripts first before we get any of our assets in. So double click in the scripts folder, right click, and you want to click C sharp script. And call this one player control. Double click to open that up. Went Video Studios, Visual Studio, even, I should I say, decides to load. There we go. Okay. So, just below here, we want to create our first variable. Now, the player control will be the script that, or the class that we use. Um, for our player shit in this space shooter. So what I'm going to do is create public variable, make it a float, and give it the type, the variable name of speed. The reason we made it a float is because speed of movement is generally normally kept as a float as it can go into decimal points. If you think of a um, speedometer of a car, it doesn't go through whole numbers. Okay, there's decimal points and fractions within that. So that's why normally I like to keep public float um, speed as a float. You can do it as an int, but I think the float's more accurate. Okay, so in our update we want to <coughs> create some input. So, create a new float for our x position and we type in input dot get access raw and type in brackets horizontal. So Unity comes within Unity comes with pre-specified key inputs. So horizontal would be the left and right keys or the A and, A and D keys to be able to move. So it gets the values of them already in Unity's program. Okay. So and the value of that is either minus one, zero or one. And then we need to create a new vector2. So a vector2 is x and y. Call this direction. And make sure it's equal to a new vector2. x0. Oh, in brackets, should I say? x and 0. So in my space shoot, I'm only going to have him move on the x. OK. So, as you can see, once we highlight over certain things in Unity, it gives us definitions. So, a normalized field returns this vector with a magnitude of 1. Okay, so it'll go up um, with value of 1 on the new vector for the x. Okay, next thing we want to do is create a new function or method for our movement. So, we come down here, call this void move, type in vector 2 direction so it calls the direction will be set earlier to new curly braces and then we want to check the minimum maximum values of our view screen so to do that we call vector 2 min equals camera so it gets the camera component the main camera component I should say dot view port to world point so it gets the position of the world and creates a new vector 2 even and 0 0 semicolon and if you just copy and paste that control C control V and you need to do one for the maximum so the min minimum value your screen is and the maximum value 1 1 and then we say that max dot x is equal to max dot x minus 
whatever the width of the screen is. So for mine, I'll do it like that, and the minimum dot x equals min dot x plus zero dot two two five f, and then I would suggest copying and pasting these and doing the same for the y. like so and then change some of these to 5 f there we go Ooh, missing a semicolon there that would have been very bad okay next thing we need to do is get our players current position so to do that another vector 2 call it pos equals transform dot position And next, we need to calculate the new position when we move. So that is plus equal our direction which we made times by the speed variable. And it needs some time dot delta time as well. Okay. And then we need to make sure we're not outside the screen and we clamp in between the camera view. So to do that, pos.x equals math dot clamp pos dot x min dot x max dot x and then copy and paste and change it to y y y y oops daisy y there we go and then we, the final thing we need to do is, is update the place position so to do that transform dot position equals pos Okay, the last thing we want to do is reference this variable here in our update, because obviously the variable needs to update as well, every sec every frame per second. So to do that, we just call it in our update, so move, and in the brackets, get our direction. So, semicolon, save, make sure there's no errors, there is not. Okay, so next thing we need to do is you need to get a sprite of your ship. I believe I've already got one in my documents, so I shall just copy and paste that over for now. And make sure it goes in my sprite folder. And there it is. Okay, you can get any image you want. So I'm just going to drag that into my scene, rename it player, and I'm just going to scale this down. So it's a bit smaller. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is get the script, drag and drop. I'm going to change the speed to like two for now. See how that is. I'm going to press play and make sure it works. So if I press A and D, everything works fine. I can't go up, and if I go all the way to the side, it clamps down on the screen or the camera, like so. Awesome. Change the speed actually. Great. So, in the next vid, I'm going to show you how to set up um, for the play to shoot bullets. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.